from the council has come to collect your poll tax. Calling civilization. More nonsense in a minute, but first it's time for. Royal News and Princess Anne left Heathrow Airport today to go on another fact finding mission. Her husband, Mark Phillips, was there to see her off. <laughs> Royal Fashion News, and we go behind the scenes to discover a royal equerry informing banquet guests on how they should behave when Fergie, the Duchess of York, enters wearing her latest outfit. Don't laugh! <laughs> Politics, and in a major speech today, Paddy Ashdown spoke of how he sees the future for the SDLP. <laughs> And as the hole in the ozone layer gets worse and worse, we reveal the horrific consequences of the greenhouse effect. <laughs> Show business. And after many, many years of surgery under the knife, Scottish entertainer Andy Stewart has finally revealed what doctors have done with his offcuts. Come in, come in. It's not <laughs> Football news, and we have exclusive footage of controversial signing Mo Johnson being welcomed by members of the Glasgow Rangers Football Club. <laughs> and after months of hiding, author Salman Rusty is now delighted to be able to walk about in the open. <laughs> Hey, Shiva! Ladies, why not send off for this beautiful pendant, a shimmering stone set in 22 karat gold for the man in your life? <laughs> like to Workman's bottom offer, P.O. Box, Northampton. <laughs> Hi, tonight, two very special guests. Two genuine superstars from the world of rock. The Bonnie Scots lass who made it from the big time to the even bigger time. From Bells Hill to Bel Air, Miss Sheena Easton. Hi. And with her, her mentor and friend, the purple rainmaker himself, Prince. <laughs> Sheena, can I ask you, what kind of effect has Prince had in your life? Total, total effect. He has been the influence, yeah? 
He has forced me to confront my own potential and reevaluate and bleakly appraise my whole evolutionary development within the context of my astral existence. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Prince, what about you? Have any of Sheena's influences rubbed off on you? I'm bloody sure it has. <laughs> See that you've got? That you've got <laughs> Of course, we use humane methods to kill our animals in this slaughterhouse. We always stun them first, you know. I walk right up to them and I look them straight in the eye and I say, I'm going to lop your head off with this. <laughs> that usually stuns them all right. Dimitrov, he is a wily fox. This is reminiscent of our confrontation in 79. He tries to tempt me again and again, but no, no. I will not fall into his trap. King to King's Bishop Pete. Ah, so the bishop once again defends. No surprises there, my friend. You are most predictable, Yanov. But still, I shall be careful. You are always dangerous. Hmm. Did I leave a note out to cancel the milk? <laughs> they have three pints in the fridge. Bishop to King Five. Hmm, he moves the bishop. But I wouldn't cancel that milk order, no, no. I would make a big a banana custard. Still, he would never think of that. Bishop to King's Bishop Seven. An error, my friend. You do not see the night, nor are you aware of the fact, my friend, that yes, I have no bananas. <laughs> to King's Knight Seven. What if the milkman gets the order wrong? What if he leaves yogurt? How could he have known of my weakness for yogurt? Strawberry, raspberry, fruits of the forest. Especially fruits of the forest. Ah, so now I have him. Nowhere to run, my friend. Yogurt, it is. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. I forgot. This is Tuesday. The milkman doesn't come today. <laughs> Checkmate. Bastard, didn't they? Hey. Animals. I mean, let's face it, they're always banging on about this vivisection carry on, aren't they? But I mean, half the time they're stalking about the jungle, biting chunks out of one another. <laughs> Don't talk to me about animal. Don't you talk to me about animal. I can't see why you are. I mean, look at this effort here. Look at it. Look at it there. I mean, there's no there's no brain in it. She'd. <laughs> look at it. Look. See, it's written on her, it's stupid and happy. Don't you walk through it at all. I mean, one minute it's stoning about the savannah, 
French kissing a few gazelles. The next minute, it's pumped into a cage just outside Easterhouse, you know? <laughs> you well, it's walking up and doing all day crapping itself. Chris, I'd walk up and doing all day crapping itself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're right ugly looking buggers as well, you ever notice? Eh? I mean, take the ostrich efforts. I mean, they want to lie burying their head in the sun, eh? Guys, <laughs> if I look like that, I can't be burying my head in the sun. <laughs> Canoes, that's another variety. They're nearly extinct. I mean, guys, they want to, they want to. Guess all they can do to look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> then again, anything that's stupid enough to let itself be called a canoe in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's your animals for you, you know. In this sense of, in this sense of evolution, they don't try and bear herself. I mean, see canoes, I mean, see if you were a canoe, what would be the first thing you'd do? You'd change your name, wouldn't you? Yeah. Change your name to some decent, like Clint or Jason or something. Buy a wee denim shirt, pump on a few wee, you know, licks of Aramis and, uh, Jersey pints away up and chat up a giraffe. Try and move up the, the social scale a bit. But no, they haven't got an ounce for that. Haven't got a sense for that. No, no. So don't you talk to me, my animal. Don't you talk to me. I'll tell you, boy. I will tell you this. I'll tell you. Maybe I can't use my tongue for a roll of Andrex. I'll tell you this. At least I've got my freedom. There you are, boy. Ramsey Nesbitt. Oh, Christ. Come on, we've been looking for you, Nesbitt. Get in the bag. Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I don't know what you lot are laughing. Make the real tongue in vegetarians, boy. There'll be a lot of redundancies in your game. Mum, Mum. What's that there, Mum? See it, Mum. I'll just check now. That is... That's a mud pie. Not that, love. Right, on the go up. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, Mum, what kind of tree is that? Is it an oak or what? Oh, no, let me see. I'll just check this. No, no, no. That's a birch, that is. Right, off we go up. Right, watch your step there, Peter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mum! I'll just have a check here. Now, let's see. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, 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 look! Look! Neil. Neil, I really do think we should take precautions. Oh, God, I don't have any on me. I've got some in the bathroom. <laughs> I hope you don't think I go to bed with every man I meet. No, no. <laughs> oh, I've been so wicked. Shall I tell you what I was doing last night? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I went to this party and I'm afraid I had far too much to drink. So I ended up with this film director and you know what they're like. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, we went back to his place, into his bedroom, and, and he took off all my clothes and I lay on the bed. And, oh, dear. Do you know what he did? No. Well, find out tomorrow by ringing 0898 <laughs> It really is serious, this, isn't it? Absolutely. Looks like there's nothing else for it. We'll just have to cut down on the number of our sexual partners. <laughs> Never has the waiting list for national health operations been more lengthy. With me is Mr. Glenn Pardo, who has been waiting to have an operation to have his hemorrhoids removed for... How long did you say it was now, Mr. Pardo? Twenty-five years. Uh, but uh, I'm just off to see the specialist today, and uh, I'm hoping that he'll have some better news for me. <laughs> Tom, why did you change your dog's name from Rex to Nyrex? Oh, from Rex to Nyrex? Yeah. Ah, well, you see, that's because I've trained it. To bury its shit in other people's gardens. <laughs> Don't do it, Bobby. Hurry up. Hurry up.
Good. I'll be along with your dinner in a minute. Macaroni cheese. Macaroni cheese tonight. And then if you're very good, I'll let you watch ten minutes of Coronation Street. Coronation Street before bedtime. A good job we gave up the smoking and drinking, eh? Eh? I say, it's a good job we gave up the smoking and drinking, eh? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the smoking and the drinking. Who's uh, that? Uh, we might have missed out on all this, eh? <laughs> no, no, no. You can tell your readers that I don't think boxing's barbaric or that it damages your brain. <laughs> I've been in the game 25 years. Never did me no harm. I know it was good, you know. I mean, I could have been a champion. But, uh, you were a champion. <laughs> was I really? <laughs> Who's that then? Uh. <laughs> Sharon, how much is P? Twenty-six. Thanks. Sharon, how much is pay? Thirty-three. Thanks. Sharon, carrots. Uh, Twenty-eight. Oh, for God's Thanks. sake, how long have you been a checkout assistant? Sharon, how long have I been a checkout assistant? <laughs> And isn't it true, Doctor, that cigarettes can seriously shorten life expectancy? Oh, I'll leave that. You said last week that you look at you, you're smoking a cigarette, so yeah. Oh, gee, I'm going to race for you. And isn't it also true that alcohol does irreparable damage to the liver? Rubbish! That's rubbish! It's not rubbish! It's scientific, it's been proved by scientists. You should listen to this. You should take care of your body. Look at this state. You're a bloody disgrace, so yeah. Exercise, of course, we know, helps to combat these evils. And a recent survey showed, surprisingly, that the best exercise of all was sex. Cycling came close second, and swimming is also very helpful. <laughs> We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special news report. Hostilities have broken out between East and West following the breakdown of talks this afternoon. A full-scale nuclear strike is on its way to Britain, and the four-minute warning has been sounded. And that's except for viewers in Scotland. <laughs> If you have all enjoyed your meal, oh, I think we should call on Pipe Major to entertain us with a few tunes. Oh, Seated, so am. I am up to there with sexual satisfaction. Honest to Christ. See if I have another orgasm. I think I will scream. I kid you not. Because I never realised that ecstasy could be so boring. Well, see, when you're married, right, I mean, you'll kill for a cuddle, won't you? But see, when you're divorced, it's the exact opposite. Nothing but an endless procession of red, slavering faces loading themselves on top of you. All reeking a kudos and all buff naked except for a vest and an obligatory pair of three for a pound terry towel and sports up. You get fed up, eh? So you do. In fact, see when I meet a good-looking fella who I don't think to myself, oh, I fancy him. 
I just think, can I be bothered washing the sheets tomorrow? <laughs> well, it's amazing how you have the tools, isn't it? I mean, used to be that when a man took me out for a meal, right, there'd be a wee free song, you know. And we'd sit there making eyes and mentally undressing each other. Christ, nowadays I've got a mentally undressed dress and phoned in my taxi home for I've even got the prawn cocktail down my throat. Because, <laughs> I mean, what have you got any day with them once you've done the business, eh? You see them again and then it starts getting serious. They begin sticking you up in pedestals and all on stupid malarkey. I mean, bugger that. It's <laughs> a rigmarole on, is it? I mean, they're doing in one knee and they're quoting love poetry to you. Well, you're bent double with a pot of yogurt and a pessary because you've been stung for a dose of thrush somewhere along the way. <laughs> so, that is why I am getting off on the cakes and the sweets these days. Ah, you see, I have realised that the psychologists have got it all right. It's no chocolate that's a substitute for sex. It's sex as a substitute for chocolate. <laughs> I mean, look at this, eh? Maltesers, bounty bars, they came in search of paradise. <laughs> nah, nah. That's me finished with sex. I'm turning, what is it you call it? Celibate. Or is it vegan? I <laughs> think. It's the same thing, really, when you think about it, isn't it? <laughs> Let's face it. I have yet to meet the man that could measure up to a curly whirly. <laughs> Living hopes, eh? <laughs> easy now, easy. <laughs> oh, how was it for you? <laughs> Question, what year is it? ABBA, David Essex, The Jam, Legs & Co? It's number one, it's Top of the Pops in a moment on UK Gold. <laughs> <laughs> 